Hello, hello. All right, here we are at resume development. So for this assignment, we are going to be using an AI powered resume builder uh, called Big Interview. We also later in the semester, we'll be using them to do mock interviews. So uh, some exciting stuff will be happening there. Okay, so what you're going to do is you are going to go ahead and click on this link for Big Interview. I already have the window open, so I'm just going to click over, click over to it. Uh, and then once you get here, you are going to click on this download that says resumes and then you get a bunch of stuff here um, for the purpose of this assignment we are going to use the resume builder so go down here to where it says resume builder now you have the powerpoint presentation that we had in class but there are some videos um, that big interview has created and how to structure your resume. I'm not going to worry about that right now, okay? All right, so we're going to go to Resume Builder, and we're going to go ahead and click this button that says Build a Resume, uh, and then you're going to get started. You are just going to follow the prompts, okay? You're going to follow the prompts. Now, we'll take, you know, um, some thinking uh, when we get to some of the some of the steps. We're just going to follow prompts and build our resume. So we're going to put, uh, you're going to call this, give this resume a title. So if you are... You know, creating, uh, if you're applying for a specific, a specific position and you're building a brand new resume, you can call it that. But generally, I name my resumes by year as, as I learn new skills or get, uh, new positions or promotions. I, I call them, um, I, I, I name it by year. That way I know which year it is. Okay. Which, which is my most recent one. So, um, I will call this TAR 2024. And then we're just going to follow all the prompts. Okay. I'm not going to fill everything in. Um, you don't have a LinkedIn or you may have a LinkedIn URL right now, but, uh, we will get to that later in the semester. Oh, I'm just going to have to put some stuff in. Whoops. Why can't I spell my name right? <laughs> okay, so you're just going to click and go to the next step. You're going to put in a summary. We, we talked about this in class. This is your objective. Put hey. Um, we talked about the objective or the mission statement. We're going to put that in. Uh, we're going to get our work experience. I'm just going to put something in here. Um, and then my role, professor. Okay. Of course, you will be describing your responsibilities that you have in the job. And we talked about that in class on how to basically go back to your job description to describe your responsibilities for each position. So we're going to save that position. We're going to, of course, you're going to put in every position that you've had in the last 10 years. We're going to do that. Okay. Go to the next step, uh, education. Uh, so a master's, oops. Whatever your degree is, uh, of course, the name of the location um, and all of that good stuff. Um, GPA is not required, but um, it's here, but it's not required. I actually wouldn't put it on my resume. It's a story. All right. Um, moving forward, any projects that I've, that I've worked on? So here I'm going to say faculty. Sure, that's what I've been done. And a description of the project. Um, projects don't have to be there though either. So keep that in mind. You could uh, keep, you don't have to have a project if you don't have a project. You can leave that out. Next step, any certifications that you may have. So for me, I have a, um, it's called OESP, which is Online Educational Service Professional. Um, and then the skills. We talked about all the skills. So you really are going to take skills from every class that you've taken along the way to add to your skills. So the technical skills, we talked about soft skills. Um, so we talked about those three skill sets. Make sure that you include some of all of the above. And then finally, um, this page just gives you a look or feel. So you can have different um, layouts for your resume. So you could do, this is a classic, this one is a modern. So the spacing is just different this one says creative it's not the creative that we that i showed you in class though so it is um even though it says creative it's a little bit more um simplistic uh, and then uh, elegant which is just really just a font and then finally you will save it and download it okay so after you do that downloading the pdf then you can upload it to the assignment and I will review it. Remember, there's no wrong answer. I'm just looking uh, looking to make sure you have all the components 
and to provide you some encouragement and feedback to make your uh, resume slightly slightly better okay so for this assignment we'll be using big interview we did talk about canva in class but i want you to have an have an account under big interview because we're going to be using big interview later in the semester as well okay and then we'll circle back to big interview next week uh, as well um, and we're going to run an old resume through here to get some to get some help too okay all right see you on the other side